morning vlogmas. I'm up in the office. I haven't edited anything yet. It's five to eight. I'm getting an early start on packaging today. We got the comfy jumper on that my mum knitted for me decades ago. Um, the little flowers used to be embroidered on but I think that this wool is acrylic and maybe the flowers were wool because now they're just felted but I still wear it and still love it. If you're new, hello. Um, first off, please feel free to subscribe but secondly, my desk is right next to a bathroom with no door on it so um, that's why you can see a toilet. It's a bit weird. We've never used this bathroom because we have another one. Um, but yeah, thought I'd get an early start on packaging also. <sighs> bit distressing. Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't seem to be working on the computer. So I decided to leave Mario downstairs and leave him to it. He's been so excited about this and I'm going to be distraught if he can't play it and he's going to be very annoyed. So I decided to leave him to try and sort it out and I've escaped upstairs to make a start on packaging. I need to close the shop at some point. Um, I might wait a little bit, but yeah, yesterday's shop update went very well. All the stitch markers have now sold out. Thank you so much, um, and congratulations if you managed to snag one. They sold slower than they have done before, but that's completely understandable. I'd done an update with similar stitch markers not too, too long ago. Also, it's very close to Christmas, so... I understand why people might not want to buy Christmassy stitch markers, but I have a cup of tea on the go. Hmm. Oh, I've just brushed my teeth. That wasn't as pleasant. Um, Bird and Blend Snowball. I haven't done my tea advent calendar yet. I've not done anything. I will have my tea advent calendar tea while I'm editing the video after I've finished packaging everything. But yeah another packaging day so thought if I make an early start then I'll finish earlier that's the goal and if I finish before 12 I might be able to call roll mail and have them come and collect them today oh that's an idea right let's see if I can get these done in two and a half hours three and a half hours three and a half hours yeah. oh I just managed to avoid minor crisis I was sat here just about to press print when all the lights went off up here. I mean, now it's light, I don't need them on. But yeah, and then we crawled to where the switchboard is, which is like behind here, but like gotta go in through a cupboard and down. Well, I say we, Mario went. And then I thought we'd blown a fuse and oh my God, but it's fine. We fixed it, homeowners. We're homeowners now. I've double checked that the paper's A4, so we shouldn't get a repeat of yesterday. And now I will print after that minor disruption. And then I can start cutting up bubble wrap. Hooray! I feel much more optimistic about packaging today than yesterday though, so that's a good sign. is how I set up my stitch marker trays. Although I try and make them lay a bit more flat than this. But yeah, it just makes for easier picking when I'm just picking stuff around. And I'm watching diamond painting hauls. I don't diamond paint. 
Um, they're just things I'm watching. Somebody asked about these stitch markers yesterday, 2021. This is my second bin. Stuff that I haven't sold, stuff that's got broken beads, stuff that I think is too big or too heavy to be a stitch marker. Currently they're just chilling in there. Like this one I'm pretty sure has a broken bead on it somewhere. I know. Oh no, the little ear things. I didn't like them. And um, yeah. So this is just the second spin. And this is just... They technically should go in the second spin. So maybe I'll have a second sale. Um, this was going to be January's Stitch Marker Club. Um, but I decided not to do that one and do something else instead. In hindsight, probably for the best. Nobody really wants to be reminded of this year. But yeah. Right, enough procrastinating. Let's get packaging. It's now, what time is it? Come on computer. 20 past nine. Let's go. I'm still packaging it's currently quarter past 11 I'm running very low on my prepped business cards so might have to do a few more of them but my sister popped over to drop off some good ooh, drop off some goodies so thanks Charlotte I'm having some cheese savouries fun fact the goo pots the glass jars that everyone keeps a um, Pringles lid fits on it so just saying but yeah I'm still going fair to say I will not be getting these out today because I need to call before 12 o'clock to have them collected the same day but I will call first thing tomorrow and then they tend to come around between 11 and 12 to collect them if I call early so yeah I'm still still going, still plodding along, plowing through. Um, but yeah, it was nice to have that little bit of a break and uh, chat to my sister. She didn't come inside, don't worry, we're not illegal. Because um, Nottingham is in tier three, which means we're not allowed to hang out. So she stood outside, I stood inside with a gap between us. Um, but yeah, she just dropped off some like a little hamper of Christmas goodies, like some wax melts and some candles and things like that. I took the opportunity to replenish my tea, um, which is always nice. Currently drinking a Yorkshire Tea Biscuit Brew, my last tea bag of it. Um, because yeah, Charlotte did drop around another box of Yorkshire Tea Biscuit Brew. And I also know that I might have even more on the way, which is amazing. So it could that could be the parcel that I missed yesterday. Um, kind of annoying that I missed it but yeah it's still early in my head it's way later than it is um, but it's not so just plodding along plowing through packaging stitch markers and also a surprising amount of yarn so thank you so much and people have bought tote bags I'll show you Tote bags are currently downstairs in the conservatory because I have nowhere to put them up here yet. So that's a plan for when I organise this office some point next week. But uh, while I was downstairs, I picked them up for the orders. But it's cute. It says the corner of craft on it. And on the back it says sip and stitch. Now this could mean wine. This could mean beer. This could mean cider. This could mean tea, coffee, whatever. But I thought it was cute. The corner of craft. Yeah, they're just some nice tote bags. Um, I also wanted to get some um, chromatic yarn ones made, saying crit and knit on the back, but the order minimum was pretty high, and um, I didn't know how well they'd sell, so 
yeah, I haven't ordered them. I'm glad that I didn't, because sometimes I can go a bit gung-ho with um, getting stuff for the shop, because I get excited. But the order minimum was, I think, 100. Um, and it worked out to be quite a lot of money. So I'm glad I didn't get them. I mean, had I been doing shows, I, they probably would have sold better, but I'm currently obviously not doing shows. So, oh no, my pen's been left open. I need to scribble for a bit. I'll try and get it working again. Doo Okay, nice. I love fountain pens. Um, oh, they do have ink all over my hands now. Oh, and I just licked my hands and I have to go wash my hands. But yes. Um, can't remember what I was saying. And I think that perfectly sums up how my day is going. So now I'm going to go walk downstairs to wash my hands because I've got no soap up here. Oh God. <laughs> hey folks, it's half past one. I'm packaging the last order. Um... Oh, excuse me, that's my bracelet on my teacup. But yeah, it's been a long packaging day, but I'm really glad I got an early start because if I'd have edited first, I would have started at like 11. And what time was I sat here? Like 20 past eight. So, eight. so six hours of packaging with a small break in the middle to chat to my sister, but that was only about half an hour or so. So yeah, packaging days when it's clubs, aren't too too bad because all the orders are the same well they're not but like um all the stitch marker orders are the same price usually and blah 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 whereas this one like i'm packaging as i go whereas yesterday i had everything done in advance and yeah yesterday was the actual physical act of the packaging part was quicker because um I prepped everything in advance, all the stitch markers were already wrapped up and stuff, whereas this one I'm doing it as I go. And also, my yarn is miles away, so I have to get up and get it every time that there's an order with yarn in and blah blah blah, but hopefully I can work it out to where I've got a bit more of an efficient system and um, tidy up a bit more uh, next week, because yeah it's really messy in here and i can't believe it's already pretty dark so yeah mary's had to uninstall his game and is trying to download it again but for some reason our internet's gone super slow so that's really annoying um so it's downloading it really slowly so he's not having the best of days Ooh, ginger beer um my ink pad is running out of ink Luckily I have a second, but it's, yeah. It could have something to do with the fact that I have it sat open for hours because um, I package for a long time. So I have it sat open and because I'm constantly stamping stuff. I didn't want to have to keep taking the, taking the lid on and off, but it could be that. So I might have to stop doing that, um, but yeah. wasn't the longest time I've ever taken to package but it did take a while now I need to send people who got tracked postage their tracking numbers I need to dispatch everything and I need to um, work out the average weight of parcels from the past two days so yeah that is probably what I'm gonna do now I have a really cute notepad from um, catnip who I only recently discovered, but she's UK based, very Northern, and she does stickers and stationery. And look, I'm obsessed with this one. But look, it's little gingerbread men doing festive things. So I'm using this to work out the average weight of all the items and write it all down and stuff, but yeah. And then in a second for you, but a bit longer for me, come on, come back to my face. Um, in a second for you, but a bit longer for me, I will do the Chromatic Yarns advent before it gets too dark because I need to take a picture of it. And then I'm going to treat myself to some knitting. Oh, Amario is coming upstairs. Hello. Hi. Oh, I added, I added a bit of text to say that I'm closed for Christmas because I've taken everything out of the shop. 
feels a bit weird. There's still gift cards if you want to buy a gift card for someone or ask for one for yourself. They're available. Um, but everything else I've taken out of the shop. Oh, it feels a bit weird. It feels a bit weird. It's empty. Oh, I need to take that off. But other than that, it's empty. Oh, how weird. Cool. Right, postage is done. I'm taking it all downstairs. And then, yeah. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I got ahead of myself. We sat on the floor. Um, it is day 10 of, my goodness, it's so almost Christmas and I'm so behind on Christmas shopping. Day 10 of the Chromatic Yarns Advent Calendar. And today's colourway is an oldie, but a goodie. So old, in fact, some of you won't remember it because I think I've only sold this once and it's when I had my Etsy shop. You ready? Put, you might need to put your sunglasses on for this one. Boom! This one is called Fairy Dragon and they're just tiny dragons which are super cute. Um, but yeah, it's just like a really bright obnoxious orange, um, like a yellowy orange and yes, it's amazing. It's so bright and vibrant. I'm excited to knit my tiny jumper out of this one but I still need to finish yesterday's jumper. Oh, I'm so behind. Um, but it's packaging takes over your life but yes that is today's chromatic yarns advent calendar now i will go edit yesterday's vlog because i still haven't done that and it's almost two o'clock and our internet's playing up oh my goodness what a day what a day so mario has interrupted me from editing i've almost finished i've got like two minutes left <sighs> anyway He's interrupted me because he wants to make a cup of tea. So, I'm going to pick out my daily tea. For those who haven't watched before, I made my own tea advent calendar because I have so many flavors of tea. And today's tea is, whatever this is. Oh, Rockabye raspberry. May. May, how disappointing. I mean, it's probably delicious, but I don't know if it's what I want. Anyway, I'm also gonna have some mini chocolate spicolatios with it because it's Christmas! Right, let's make a cup of tea! Um, some wax melts. I've never had a wax melt before so she got me a burner and um, this is gingerbread smell and it smells so good. Yum! Okay so I suppose I better taste my tea. Um, I have finished editing the video it's currently saving. Tea isn't bad. I just didn't really want a caffeine free one but hot wet and warm that's not the three words one uses to describe tea anyway um mario's computer will not play cyberpunk he's uninstalled it reinstalled it he's done everything he can so he's taking it to the shop that he bought it from um who built it for him and hopefully they'll be able to do something um so he can hopefully play it today but in the meantime yeah he left with the door wide open again so luckily i'm here and closed the door and locked the door because all of your parcels are just there. Anyone could come in, nick them, run off. It's, it just doesn't think sometimes. It just doesn't think. But I am going to do day 10 of advent calendars. Starting off with Lofty Loops advent calendar. Ooh. So this is on her glitz face. And it's really pretty. It's like a pale turquoise and it's got speckles of pinks and blues and a bit of yellow in and absolutely stunning. Let's see if I can find out what colorway this is. Okay, I just found a bit of paper. Um, this is Bunny Slope. Yes, I love this colorway from her. I've seen it on um, 
her Instagram quite a lot and I dyed up a colourway shortly after that was very similar and yeah I messaged her and confessed and um, we laughed about it because it was completely accidental because I obviously just took inspiration but didn't realise I had but yeah bunny slope on her glitz sock base very pretty Okay, now to see what chocolate treat we got in the Hotel Chocolat advent calendar today. Day 10. Up here. Found it, I found it. Oh, and I didn't need an implement to help me. Ooh, today's one is called the brownie. And actually does look a bit like a brownie. Mmm, I'm going to enjoy this with my cup of tea whilst... Well, when this video is saved, editing the thumbnail and getting it all uploaded and ready to go. I don't think I like editing this late in the day because it's now 10 to 4 and I still don't have yesterday's video up. So I don't think I will attempt this again. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad I did because it meant I could get packaging done early this morning. So it's a pick your battles kind of thing. Um, but I haven't finished yesterday's tiny jumper, which is just up here. Um, I think I'm a couple of ropes before I need to do the ribbing. And then I've got sleeves to knit. So I need to do yesterday's jumper, cake up today's yarn, do today's jumper. Because I need to post these on Instagram. Because I'm already behind. <sighs> but yeah. Um, yeah. Plan for tomorrow, even though it's only 4 o'clock right now, is to call Royal Mail early, get these parcels booked in to be picked up, um, post off my um, driving license, because I need to change the address and the name, because I haven't updated the name yet, because if you remember, last Vlogmas I took my driving test, and yeah, I've barely driven since, which is annoying. But also, I'm really scared of driving, turns out. So, I wasn't scared of driving. And then, the first, before I took my test and I drove our car, I stalled so many times that I think I completely spooked myself out of driving. Um, which is really annoying because I... I paid so much money. And I took so many lessons. And I passed the test. And yet, I still don't trust myself enough to drive and up and well I still haven't driven since we've moved and that's what a month and a half and shortly before that I drove for the first time since February so it's really annoying that all these yarn shows got cancelled this year because the plan was that I was going to drive myself to them and I would have had to have got more confident driving a car but as it happens I've sat at home and didn't go out when no one was on the roads during the first initial lockdown and then I've just spooked myself about it and don't trust myself to drive anymore which is absolutely ridiculous it's really annoying but yeah that's enough of a angry rant from me um I'm gonna eat this chocolate and knit this jumper and drink my tea my torch on. Does that help? Yeah, a little bit. So, um, we had a very tasty dinner. We bought a massive ham yesterday because it was on offer. And so we've cut some, we've cut it into three and put two in the freezer. So Mary roasted a third of it. And then we're going to have some Christmas day and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, so we had roast ham and that was very tasty for dinner with some red cabbage and some potato wedges. And um, I just had a cheeky bowl of ice cream because once again it was on offer. Um, I've cast on my second jumper because I have finished yesterday's jumper. It's so cute. It's very, it's giving me very 80s vibes. So yes. I don't know what happened here. I seem to have split a stitch or something, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's done. 
So yeah, I'm knitting the second jumper. We're about to watch the next uh, Kirsty's Handmade Christmas, but Mary has just gone up in the shower because he has to go to work tomorrow. Not a super early start, but you know, it's still a half past six start, which for him is a lion. Um, but yeah, I need to call Ron Mel tomorrow and um, get them to come and collect all your parcels. So thank you very much for that. Got four sacks worth, um, which is amazing. It feels good to have closed the shop. Uh, it feels weird because I don't think I've ever done this before. Even on my honeymoon, I didn't do this. Well, it wasn't an actual honeymoon. It was like after the wedding, we had like a, went on a mini moon, but I didn't actually physically close the shop. Um, everything was up. I just sent a thing out saying, hey, if you buy anything, I'm not posting it until I get back. But, so it feels a bit weird, but it does also feel quite nice. Um, Cause it means I can like, focus on the house a little bit. I will probably get to about two days in and I will get bored and we'll start bead weaving again. But that's fine. Cause I've got stock that I can make ready for the next shop update. I've got stuff I can make in preparation for whatever, basically. So it's not like I wouldn't use the stitch markers but it would just be be nice to take some time to not have that pressure there um, and like sort out the office and clear out a few more boxes and actually put stuff away and find home for things. Homes, homes for things. Because at the minute there's some stuff that just doesn't have a home. I need to find a home for things. I also need to, driving license tomorrow, need to sort that. I also need to change the address on my bank. That's a good point. I'd completely forgotten about that. I need to do that tomorrow as well then. So I need to find out a card reader. Oh my goodness. Um, I got super stressed out earlier because I realised how close it is to Christmas and how disorganised I am and how I don't think I have many gift ideas for people. Like I'm really struggling. Um... Is anyone else struggling with buying Christmas presents for people this year? I think I'm struggling, well, partly because I'm not really seeing people, so it's got to be stuff I can post, but also partly because, like, it's been a global pandemic. Like, buying people things just seems really frivolous. I don't know. And instead of buying people things, for the last few years, we've been buying, like, tickets to things or, well, tickets to things. And we can't buy tickets to things at the minute because, you know, the pandemic. Um, so yeah, can't buy tickets to things for people for Christmas. So it's another reason I think I'm feeling a bit stuck. But anyway, I've probably rambled on for long enough in this vlog considering how long yesterday's vlog was and I didn't think I had any footage to share with you. Um, I don't know if I filmed more today, but that's fine. I'm going to love you and leave you. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm posting a video like this every day in the run up to Christmas and maybe beyond, because I'm really enjoying Vlogmas at the minute. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It would be great, it would mean a lot, help to get my video out there. If you'd like to follow me on social media, please feel free. Links can all be found in the description box below, along with any other links I think you might need, including my Bird and Blend discount code if you fancy buying some tea, as well as my tea of the day. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.